So we're always making adjustments and tweaks and improvements to our program. Like last week, we got rid of our calf blocks. Like, forever. Gone, probably permanently. The reason for the change is threefold. The first and most important reason is we found when people did their calf raise on a step as opposed to the ground, they would shorten up the range of motion and they would get a bounce out of the bottom. And when they would get all the way up, they'd just roll out onto their little toes, not up onto their big toe. The second reason is all about alignment. Specifically, alignment with physiotherapy standards. Calf strength testing for ankle sprains, shin splints, ACL ruptures, all those tests are done from the floor. So to give our athletes the best chance of knocking their rehab out of the park, we should be training them the way they're gonna be tested. The third and final reason has to do with compression, and particularly compression of the retrocalcaneal bursa. We recently learned a whole heap about tendinopathy and tendons from one of the best in the world, Jill Cook. Jill explained to us that loaded dorsiflexion puts a huge compressive force through the Achilles tendon around the calcaneal bone. And sitting under your Achilles, on top of your calcaneal bone, is a little structure called the retrocalcaneal bursa. This little guy, it's a fluid filled sac that helps lubricate that Achilles tendon, helps it glide smoothly, and stops it wearing away and getting ground down on that calcaneal bone. So while a calf stretch into dorsiflexion, either with the knee to wall test or on a decline board, is going to be fine for most people, given what we now know about that little bursa, now is probably as good a time as any to retire these guys. <laughs>